So, uh, Kevin Roos, we've had him on the show before. Yes. He does these great uh, exposés on hackers or uh, revenge porn mm -hmm. purveyors. Uh, he he had goes a, into topics that most would probably shy away from because yes. they're challenging right. and you just don't know what you're getting yourself into when yeah. you tackle it. Exactly. So he had a, st a story today about a problem with virtual reality, which I think is just really a problem with real reality, which is often the story you hear, like that it's it's a technical a technology story that's really just a human story that it just happened to have happened in Uber or in virtual reality. Uh, but it sounds, uh, he says, people in alt space VR, which is a place where you can hang out. Was that the place that? The, no. app that you use, but something B -time. similar. B-Time was the was one it. that I checked So Alt Space VR, uh, a lot of users have complained that uh, that they're being harassed, sexual harassment. And uh, they suggest that maybe there needs to be a toggle function to increase personal space. Uh, it's fascinating because, as we know, yes, sexual harassment happens in real life all the time. It happens online. I guess the comparison here is, uh, well, you know, VR, we think of it as the online world, but it's different. I mean, it Really, it is. It, it is different, and so uh, people, mostly women, have expressed the idea that it's it's really more invasive when someone is uh, in VR, more even than the problems that happen in Second Life mm -hmm. that were similar, or in any multiplayer video game, because it feels real, uh, it feels horrible. So oh, this is one of those stories that is just hard, because I think like, well, I haven't had that experience myself, so I can't really speak to it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, you know, I think, well, do I need to be in alt space VR? Uh, if it's a place that I'm uncomfortable with, would I just leave? Uh, yes, but then you can't say that because then it's like, well, everyone deserves to be there, just like Twitter, if you're being harassed on Twitter. Do you need Twitter in your life? Maybe you don't, maybe it's not worth it, but you don't want to tell everyone who's being harassed on Twitter, just get off Twitter because that, that, that doesn't solve the problem. No, it, it does work. not solve the problem. And it keeps people who should be able to use it from wanting to use it or from right. choosing to use it. I mean, it's it's a bigger, it's a wider problem that's going to have to, they're going to have to figure out a very solid solution, not just uh, alt space VR, um, because they say it's a growing growing issue here, but just VR in general, because it, you know, as we kind of continue down this path, these kinds of things, you know, spaces like this, virtual spaces that many people exist in the same area, and uh, you know, and kind of explore the universe together, that sort of stuff. It's going to become more and more of a regular thing. Many people think that social networks are going to kind of go in the way of virtual reality, and that you know, ten years from now, a social network would actually be a virtual reality network as opposed mm -hmm. to text on a screen. Um, so. Obviously, there needs to be some sort of attention to this. Maybe having the personal space button is one thing, but you know, uh, you know, and and uh, Kevin pointed out, and it's a really good point that that's a reactive measure. The the kind of harassment has already happened at yes. that point. Yeah, it's okay. I didn't like that. Now I'm not going to get it anymore. But you still kind of got it. Um, but yeah, I think the personal space thing and just. Virtual reality in general is so immersive. It's such a more personal kind of connection. Uh, like like my time with V-Time v was l more limited than this. Mm -hmm. We weren't walking around. We didn't have choice of movement or anything like that. But I was still sitting in a room with two or three other people. And we're just kind of sitting there talking. And, it re and it, because it felt more real, you get a little bit of that anxiety mm -hmm. that maybe you don't get when you say hop into a, a text chat room. There's a little bit of that, you know, kind of anxiety of, oh, well, I'm revealing something about myself. And you kind of feel a little, there's more vulnerability mm -hmm. in that environment. Right. So I can completely understand how, you know, someone coming up to you inside a virtual environment, even though it's not real, you're still hearing their words and you're still getting this perceived sense of uh, intrusion on your space. Yes. Um, you know, not to mention a whole host of other, you know, strange things that, that could happen to right. make you feel even more uncomfortable. So this is a, this is a, this is a big issue, yeah, and it's, it's a challenge. Real. For yeah, I don't doubt for a second that these people's feelings are real, that they had these feelings and they experienced them, and I'm not saying uh, that they aren't real. Uh, but I think this is also an anonymity issue, right? Like, uh, I think a lot of people might be acting like that because there's no repercussions. There's no, right. uh, no one knows who they are. So it's like, it's the, it's the difference between Twitter and Facebook. Like, people aren't constantly harassing each other on Facebook because there's a real names policy and you have mm. to be... People you know, still you have do, to, though, but yes. <laughs> but not to the extent. <laughs> right. Uh, or even not to the extent of like someplace like, it's even more anonymous. Like, the more anonymous, we've talked about this 
bunch of times, the more anonymous you are, the the more you might be suspect, you know, to harassment. So I think that that's what the issue is too. It's not a virtual reality issue. Like I think the feelings are different because of re virtual reality, but I think that it's more like what, what about anonymous spaces online? Like what you know, are those? Are are we just going to say, well, you're going to be harassed if you go there? No. Like too bad. Like I don't no, want to say that. that. The fact is, uh, some people in the world are jerks. Most people are not. <laughs> some of those people might be in VR. Some of them might not. But yeah. you know, I think it's it's an interesting thing to consider. Sure. I think this there was also a Polygon article that was a developer was talking about this and saying like it is the developer's job to fix this. And I don't necessarily think that's true because I think that is like you know it's a some people are jerks. Developers yeah. can't help people from being right. Jerks, but, but giving giving tools even in a reaction re reactionary measure I think is a great start at least. It doesn't prevent it entirely and that's that's really difficult to do to pre for me to prevent you from saying the thing that's very easy for you to just say and be done yeah. you know like yeah. that's very like that's almost impossible for me to prevent that right uh, and, and in a network sense I don't know how they would would tackle that yeah. but at least give me tools after the fact so that I can you know block a user right. or whatever the case may be exactly so